discuss the Queen McCluskey method in the short is a QM method to simplify a Boolean functions in SOP forms. That means the summation of mean terms. Now in this, let us take this example. Here, this Boolean functions, the variables are A, B, C, D, and it is the summation of the mean term, M0, M1, M2, M3, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. These are the, all the main terms. In this method, the first step, the, this, all these decimal numbers to be converted into four bits binary numbers. And then we have all, uh, we have the, all these uh, decimal numbers converted into the first stage, we have converted into the binary numbers. In the right hand side, that decimal numbers are written. Now, here another important thing is that there is a grouping takes place. In the first group, the number of 1 is nil. Second group, number of 1 is 1. Third group, number of 1 is 2. Fourth group, number of 1 is 3. And the last group, number of 1 is 4. Therefore, in that way, according to the number of 1s available after converting into the decimal, it has been grouped. Now next step is that the first group, this is the first group which is 0, 0, 0, it is to be mapped to the next group, all the elements of the next groups. Therefore, first we map this one 0 with 1, we can see that this is, this is indicating, this is indicating D, D bar, this is indicating D, therefore it is a cancellation happens and therefore we put a dash here in the in this it will be transferred to the second stage therefore zero 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 and instead of in in the d we have put a dash and in the bracket we the involvement is zero and one we have writing in the zero and one and in this way we have to this is this again it has to be mapped to the next element of the next group and then we have found that it is uh, in the C, this is C bar, this is C, and this is eliminated. And then we have put a dash in the third place, and in the bracket we have written 0 and comma 2. In this way, this is, in this way we continue, then second, all the elements of the second group will be mapped with all, all the elements of the third groups. And with the, after the mapping, we found that, that is, that this is the result of that. And we are bracketing what the mapping takes place one in one comma three. That means one is mapped to three, and then in the third place, uh, it is the elimination happens in this way. But one thing is a very important thing is that if the elimination two elimination happens, that is to be not to be counted. Just as for example, if you if you map one with twelve then you can see there is two zero, there are two one, there were two cancellations, two two eliminations may happen, but this is not to be considered. That is an important thing. Therefore, you can see that here one and 12 is not included here. And in this way, and after completing the second mapping between second and third group, this is, we are, the, these are the results. And then we come to the third and the fourth, each element of the third group will be mapped in the each element of the fourth group and we got the result here and and in the similarly therefore I am not explaining uh, that to save the time not explaining in details <coughs> after that this the fourth element will be will be mapped in this mapped in the fifth element the last and then we got this one as for example this 11 is mapped with 15, therefore 11, 11 and 15 we get the, that B, B we get eliminated, therefore we put a dash here. Therefore we got the second stage in that way, but the, the, the very important thing is that after getting the second stage, which are the involvement is there, therefore 0 and 1 is got involved, therefore I, I put a tick mark in the 0 and 1. 
and 0 and 2 is involved, therefore 2 is also already 0 and 1 is tick mark, 2 is tick mark, 1 and 3 is involved, 1 is already tick mark, then 3 is also tick mark, 2, 3, then 2 and is involved, 2, 10, 10 is tick mark, then all this in the second stage, what are the involvement of is there, we all tick mark, suppose 11 is there, here 11 is, 11 is here, 11 is here also, therefore we tick mark, 13 we ticked because 13 is the second stage, it is got used, therefore 13 is been tick mark, in this way 14 and 15 also, here is 14, here is 15, therefore all, you can, after that all the tick mark happened here. After that, from the second stage to third stage, it's a similar process, second stage to third stage, exactly the similar process. But here, one thing is uh, that if the, when we compare that the, the first element of the first group, in the second element, we have to see that that dash has to match. match. Therefore, the, here is the dash in the fourth place, here is the third place, therefore no need of uh, mapping. Here is the fourth place, here is the fourth place, then only this is the mapping can take place. After for mapping, we can see that the 0, 0 and the C, C bar and C get eliminated, therefore 0, 0, uh, that dash, dash here put, therefore you have to include 0, 1 and 2, 3, we have included that. In this way, every mapping will take, will be, after the mapping, we transfer the result into the third stage and then it will continue from the, in the second stage, second group with the third group, each element of the second group uh, and each element of the third group. But again I repeat here, you have to, you have to take into consideration that the dash should be in the, in the, in the right place of which you are here mapping. As for example, 2, 3, it is in the last, last dash is last. Here, here two numbers are there, here this is. And this is therefore, if you match with this two, three, with ten, eleven, therefore we can we can see that this is the result, and and in this way we sh we should match. After that, uh, this this element will be matched with this in the similar way. Each element of the this group will be the will be mapped with the last group, and in that way, in that way we 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 got the element in the last stage 3 we are getting the stage 3 here now in the stage 3 you can see that uh, you can see that no and in the stage after after completing the stage 3 after completing the stage 2 we should tick mark see 0 1 is involved here is 0 1 is there therefore we tick mark 0 2 is there 0 2 is there 0 2 is tick mark 1 3 1 3 is there tick mark 2 3 2 3 is there tick mark therefore whatever the, whatever the term is used, that we are tick mark. That is a very important, important thing. That is, if it is wrongly ticked, and if it is not ticked, then the complete problems will be there will be mistake. And after that, in the third stage, we we can, we will try to go for this fourth stage. Now, interestingly, you see see that in the the first in the third stage, the first group. If you match, there are none, none matches there. There are two dash in this. Here is no two dash. Therefore, complete matching is not possible. Here is also in the first and the last there is a dash. Here also there is no no in the last and first and last there is no dash. Therefore, second and third group also no matching. Therefore, we we the our this process this is stops here only, and then we. Then we, then we come to uh, the conclusion now. <coughs> now after that you can see in this third stage, what is, these are all remain unticked. And this uh, means, which are unticked is to be considered now. This is 0, 0, that means A bar and B bar. It is also same, that is uh, dash, dash, it is, a, it is B bar, C, and that is A, C. These are called, these are called the primary implicants. These are called the prime implicants. These are called the prime implicants and then we will come to the next, uh, we prepared a table here, you can see here, whatever the, uh, you can you can see here, uh, what, whatever the 
mean terms we have written in the table and what are the prime implicants we have written here and including uh, including the numbers which have been, which have been used and then we tick mark then we tick mark 0 1 2 3 here 2 3 10 11 we tick mark yes you, for this we have tick mark it is written whatever is written in the bracket we tick mark correspondingly but here and then you can we can see that in we we, the, we after the, these are the call prime implicants then after completing this table we have to, we have to choose that prime implicants in a such a way that all these mean terms are are being taken into considerations that now this is the important thing therefore if you if you leave that ac you can see 0 1 2 3 here uh, uh, extra 10 and 11 is considered and remaining 12 13 14 15 is also considered here therefore therefore these three is sufficient for us to uh, to to consider the all these mean terms and then this ac is not at all required therefore this a bar in a bar b bar and b bar c in ab is called essential prime implicants and therefore this is the simplified Boolean expression. You can see a this a bar into a bar into b bar. This is the b bar into c and plus a b. And this is the on the other hand, and uh, this is the solution. This is the solution of the this is the simplification of the uh, your uh, Boolean expressions. Now another thing is is important that if we if we don't consider if you don't if you don't consider that then is then also it is then is also another type of solution is there here a bar into b bar a we can ac we consider and you can consider a b in that also all the mean terms are considered therefore in this problem there are two solutions are possible now we uh, come to a verification of the queen mccloskey method earlier we have done by the uh, K map, then we have, we have according to that we have plotted the K map, and we made the group we made the grouping also. You can see the the first uh, this group A bar B bar, and for this group B bar C, and for this group A B, and that is the one of the one solution you can have. Therefore, you can see that these solutions we got earlier. We got earlier here these solutions. With these solutions, we got in the method. Uh, in in this method, we got the solution, and in the QM method also, we got the same solutions. Now another interesting thing, we got the QM method two solutions. Now in the in the KMAP, if you if you if you grouping, if you do in the in a different way, then then you you can get another solution here. Here is also we you are getting the same uh, another another solution is possible. Therefore, in this problem in the QM method also there are two solutions that are possible. In 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 KMAP also there are two solutions that are possible. Any of these solutions are fine. It is okay.